Hey everybody, welcome back. Falcon, 60 seconds, there's a plane flying. Plane's flying. Plane's gone. Anyway, what was I talking? I'm sorry, that plane just distracted me. Uh, I don't know why. I see it all the time, but this time, I had to pay attention to the plane. Uh, we're doing viewer challenges, obviously, of course. You guys like those, I love those, and I'm having a lot of fun with them, so let's go forward here. Today we have, let's see the comments. Today we have Callum McLeod. McLe McLeod. 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 I'm sorry for butchering your surname so often here, but um, either way, Callum. This is going to be a really interesting one. It's probably going to be one that we're not going to succeed in because it requires a lot of luck. Oddly enough, it's also called the luck challenge, so let's read this out. Two food and water, the suitcase, and one other item, and any family you want. It is called the luck challenge because you are relying on the shelter and the suitcase items. You must play on little boy. Alrighty. So, obviously this has a chance to end relatively soon if we don't get some obviously lucky rolls over here so we'll do apocalypse we'll do little boy easy big an adventure and we'll see how we do with this one here all right so this one thankfully isn't really too hard in terms of the items because i'm so limited to what i can take so i have to grab every single fam well actually i don't have to grab every single family member that's up to my discretion i have to grab the suitcase however two cans of food two bottles of water so i guess we'll start off with the suitcase now and we'll grab one bottle of water and for the item that I get, I get to choose on my own, you know, choosing. I'm not sure which one yet, just yet. Maybe the radio? I guess the radio is probably the best one for that endeavor. We'll come over here, pick up the Dolores, or Mary Jane I should say. Grab some water, not anything else but the water, there you go. One family member down, two family members down, second bottle of water. We need one more can of food here. Food, food, food would be down over here. Alright, so food, water, done. Suitcase, done. Mary Jane and Dolores done. And I'll grab Timmy, and now we pick the last item. What do you guys want here? Radio, map, flashlight, man. I'm not sure what's gonna be more important. Medkit? Medkit in case we get sick. Uh, bug spray would be for the medkit. I'm thinking radio or first aid kit. I'm gonna go with the first aid kit because that could probably have us survive a bit longer. And. Radio would be to get rescued by the military only, right? So yeah, we'll do the medkit. Okay, that's basically... We have no weapons, by the way, for this challenge. So, as the luck, the challenge is called luck, I guess we're gonna have to be really lucky, because if we get attacked by raiders by any chance, we're basically done-ski, because we have no way to defend ourselves. We have no padlock, no rifle, no fire axe. Now, RNG, can you give me a good roll here? RNG gave me the scout handbook, and it gave me the fire axe, and hopefully some water and food. It does seem ammunition as well, and the padlock. Right? Yeah, so we got the scout handbook, the padlock, and the fire axe from the shelter. And then the suitcase gave me bullets and water. I'm not sure what you were carrying, why you were carrying bullets in your suitcase, but there you go. And more water as well. I will take it. This is not a bad row, I'm going to say. Obviously, we're missing a bunch of really important items, but hey, it's called the Luck Challenge for a reason. Let's go forward. No food or water today. Let's go on to day number two. So with this type of run, obviously, since we don't have a radio, we have to find a radio for one. Otherwise, we're completely relying on being rescued by the Hill Valley people once again, which is fine. I don't really mind that happening, too. They're a little bit easier to get rescued in the military, too. The military is kind of really iffy about rescues. The... Hill Valley people seem to be a lot better about it. So, day two, we go forward. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there's supplies hidden there. You know what? Considering how low we are on actual items for events, I think we take a risk. I might get sick too, which is a problem, but hey, that's the reason why I got the medicate, right? So we'll send Mary Jane. The reason I'm sending her is if we trigger the mutant, um, challenge, or not the challenge, but the... Oh, she got sick, of course! I figured if we tr if we tr were able to trigger her to turn her into a mutant, she might, um, you know, get rid of that sickness. But she found some water, so that's fine, I guess. You know, hey, it's something. I mean, we might lose her, but that's okay. We are going to make a few sacrifices with this run as well. I don't have to keep everybody alive, so there is that. Day three, we go forward, go forward. Nothing happening over here. I know, Mary Jane, I'll consider... I'll consider using that medkit on you, but it all depends on other things that might come before that. Like, for instance, say we get the event where everybody gets possibly crazy if I don't get any sleep because we have no pills. We'd have to use it then, right? Day four, we go forward and not much happening. Alrighty. Day five will be our first feeding and wandering day, so there is that. We have no radio, so we have no idea when the fallout is going to come down as well, so that's the other issue going on. 
If anything, I might... Since she's already sick, maybe we send her out now to scavenge? I mean... That's a possibility too, right? I wonder if she's in good shape to scavenge, though. So, today's water and food day, there you guys go. No, Mary, Mary Jane should regain her strength before going out. So, I'm not gonna risk anybody else getting sick at this point, so we hold off on that expedition plan. After all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. I guess we'll use up our ammunition to make sure we don't get any sicker. Would that clear up Mary, uh, Mary Jane? It did! <laughs> Mary Jane is no longer sick. Perfect! Alrighty, maybe I can send her out now. Actually, no, Falcon. You just cured her, why would you want her to get sick again? That's right, let's not send anybody out right now. Let's hang out. Uh, we had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks. That's gonna be the Monty Python event. If you have a map, they will give you food. I don't have a map, so unfortunately, we are not gonna get any free food. Which is unfortunate because we have a relatively low amount of food compared to water anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's only one... Got him! I <laughs> got you again, fly. Don't think I forgot about what's going on last run. I killed every single one of you that I saw, at least I think I did. Uh, day seven, let's go forward. Remember that time, Mary Jane? Oh, swell. Very, very swell. Mary Jane, I'm sorry. I guess it was meant to be for you to get sick because I'm not gonna use an item on you. Yeah, you're sick again. There you go. Well, <laughs> we, at least we kind of pushed back her quote-unquote death sentence by a bit because we cured her for a few days, so at least now we reset the sickness uh, meter for debt, so there is that. And now I might consider sending her out after all. This is a sign for me to send her out, you know, she keeps getting sick, might as well do it. Once she's back in shape, though we will. Unfortunately, we have no radio for this event, so let's go forward here. I don't know, I, I don't really see myself winning this one because of the whole luck-based um, challenge, at least more luckier than usual. But I could see myself surviving a bit longer just because of the supplies we do have. But I don't see many triggers with rescues as a problem. Unless we, we're still waiting for the hillside people to call us. That would be pretty good right now. Nope. Mary Jane cannot go out. Day 9, nothing happening. Alrighty. So day 10, we'll do our water and feeding right now. And that's about it. Yep. Go forward. Go forward. Water. Food. There you go. Day 10, Mary Jane is still not in his shape to go out. And we heard a quiet knock on the door, but when we opened it, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep. You know what? I'm gonna do it. It's a regular suitcase, um, it could be anything, but at this point, we do need some food. Uh, Timmy got sick. Oh, good god. Oh, of course. I, I have, like, the worst luck with these suitcases, man. Alrighty, well, can- Oh, we, we hear the phone ringing, finally. Okay, so it's finally the, um, Hill Valley people talking to us. I'm gonna send Dolores out for this one, and then, assuming Timmy's in good shape for an expedition, I'm gonna send him out. And I'm gonna use that medkit, too. So maybe he comes back with a medkit. We'll see. Uh, so that's gonna be the hill, uh, hill Valley people. And then day 12, we go forward. Can I send anybody out? Timmy can do it. Timmy, Timmy can go to the wasteland. Okay, so we use the medkit on Timmy. Mary Jane, if you're gonna get rescued or get cured, it's gonna be based on Timmy's little scavenge journey out there. So I'm gonna... You know, cure Timmy up now. We'll send them out tomorrow. And yeah, unfortunately, we have no radio for the military event. Not a big deal. At least we triggered the whole issue with the Hill Valley Survivor Seal. So, day 13. Let's see. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Yeah, that's what you say. And that's about it. So, Timmy, get on out of here. Uh, take the suit. Well, what do we want to have him take, really? Huh. Very good question at this point. Timmy, go out with the fire axe. Do we need the suitcase? You know what? Take the suitcase, too. Take the suitcase and take the fire axe for a little bit of a defensive probability, anyway. I really... I'm not sure about the suitcase. Is it really wise sending people out with the suitcase if we're just gonna give them one item, after all? Like, in my mind, it works out. Like, if you have a suitcase, you have a better chance of bringing a lot of more items because, obviously, you have something to carry those items in. But I just think it's really completely RNG-based. Oh! You know what's RNG-based? That fly dying. <laughs> That's completely falcon based, my friend. Um, Alrighty, day 14, we go forward. Day 15 is going to be water and food day. This is going to be our last can of, actually, second to last can of food. So, we are now relying on Timmy to bring in a pretty decent haul. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble here. So, boom, boom. There you go. Can't make. Oh, no! No! That fly is still alive! No! What did you do? Day 15 rollout. You kept me from killing a fly. 
I am upset. Alright, there's one thing we need to do is actually use the radio. Yeah, well, I have no radio. I decided to go with the medicate instead. Which is probably for the best, considering we've had two illnesses. No, three, actually. Three illnesses. We cured one. Actually, we cured two, right? We cured uh, Mary Jane initially with the bullets, and then she got sick again. And then... Timmy got sick from the suitcase, and then we cured him. We have cured two illnesses already. That's actually surprising. We were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. I guess we might as well use a padlock. Um, I I'm surprised that that's actually like raiders or bandits. I'm surprised they're attacking us this early or they're trying to raid us this early. Usually it happens around like after day 40, but that's actually pretty crazy. Uh, we didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It's really surprising. They don't really try to rob you this early, but you know. Um, Pancake. Nope, Pancake, I have nothing for you, my friend. I barely have enough for myself right now. Day 18, Timmy's back, and he brought back a bunch of water, maybe? But no food, I don't think. He brought back everything that he took. That's great. Brought back two bottles of water. Brought back... Oh, the map! Yeah, we didn't have a map. Hey, good on you, Timmy. Oh. oh! I got him! <laughs> I'm not sure even how I kill him, I just basically start clicking like a madman around it. And eventually I hit it. Um, so Timmy brought back the map for us too. Alrighty, Timmy, you have to eat today, right? I would probably imagine so. Have some food, son. And... Oh! Got him. And water. Do you need water? I want to say you do. So yeah, let's give you everything right now. Day 18. Uh, Mary and Jane's gonna probably storm out here pretty soon. Our town used to be a very quaint and friendly place before the blast. Got him! <laughs> oh, what's going on with these flies, man? Is this like a sign of things to come? Like, you know, you're about to die. Here's like a million flies. This is going to be the homeless guy who wants us to buy his rock, which apparently brings luck. You never really buy it off of him, you just take it. And then nothing comes out of it to my knowledge. But hey, we could use a little bit of luck right now. It's called the luck challenge after all, so sure, why not? We opened the door and greeted the old man with a smile. He was eager to show us his bag filled with a rich choice of rocks and convinced us to take one for free for old time's sake. Alright, day 19. It's gonna be our last food, by the way, guys. So, um, T Ted is in really good shape for a trip and Dolores is confident she will survive. You know what? If you're confident, Dolores, I'm gonna trust you. I'm sending you out tomorrow. One of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky. This could have possibly been a radio for us if we had any of these items. We don't, so there you go. We'll send out Dolores tomorrow. Mary Jane is not long for this world. And... There you go, we're out of food. So now, crutch time. Clutch time indeed. Dolores, you're going out with the suitcase, the map, and the weapon. Right? Yes. Get on, Eddie. Good luck, bring back stuff, please. We are in desperate need of food. We have water for a few days, so that's fine, but um, food, we're actually kind of short on here. Actually, completely gone. Short would be an understatement right now. Our supplies are scarce? All right, cool. We have a chance to actually attack some nearby survivors at the retirement home. One second, though. Ha, <laughs> got him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have to do it. We have to go and kill old people because we need some food. Come on, come on. We got water, we got no food, and Mary Jane is gone because of the illness, so... <laughs> got that guy too. Uh, let's see here. We got four cans of, or four bottles of water, but no soup at all. That's unfortunate. Jesus Christ, these flies! I need to kill all of them at this point because I started doing it, so I have to do it. You know, OCD. But come on, stop it. I want to get this um episode underway over here. We have... Wow, look at this. This is like ridiculous. How do you have this much water but no uh, soup? Crazy. Nope. Sorry, government. Got no radio to contact you guys. So, there goes that. Day 23. What do we have here? Open this bad boy up. If there's one thing we need to do is to... Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm fully aware of it. I can't do it, though. Trash can, we will go ahead and kill these roaches because at least we can do that. I'm still limited to what I can do because of the items that we have. Or we lack, really. But there's one thing I can do is to kill roaches, and I will, because F those roaches forever. Day 24. Soon up to day 25, and here it is. Where is Dolores? Bring back food. Please bring back the food. She's still not here. Is she even coming back? Well, no news on her yet, which is at least fine. There you guys go. Water, but no food. Come on, Dolores. Come on, Dolores. 
Oh, she's back. No food. Brought back a med kit, though. <laughs> but no food. Oh, good. Of course. Of bloody course. Uh, more water. This is just funny at this point. It's comical. It's just like, oh, here's all the water in the world. Apparently, we have found a dam outside where we have all the water in the world, but no food. Med kid, playing cards. Well. Have some water for everybody. Why not? Dolores, I'll use the medkit on you as well. Why not? And Ted is happy to risk his life. And he's gonna have to risk his life. Ted, go on out of here. We'll kill these cockroaches, and more than likely... Ted, uh, I'm thinking Timmy and Dolores are basically good as dead. Ted says I'm gonna send them out right now. He'll come back crazy, obviously. But he might come back with some food, so we could actually keep the run going with Ted alone. Obviously, we'd have no way to um, defend ourselves then, but... That's the only option we have at this point, so we send out Ted. Oh no, I forgot to give him an item! You fool. Alright, well that's gonna be a problem. Day 28. Timmy should eat something, Dolores has barely any strength left. Uh, day 28. Can't do anything with the radio. They're about to starve. Wouldn't be surprised if they're both gone right now. Oh, Mar um, Dolores is just sick again from not eating. That would happen. I'm surprised they're still around, to be honest. Day 29. <laughs> All these radio events. Man, I should have picked up the radio instead of the medkit. Okay, so Dolores is now dead. Timmy is um, gravely ill. He's about to die more than likely next turn. Or next day, anyway. Day 30, I could give you some water, son, but no food. And that's about it. So he's going to be gone now. We might get the end right now, too. Yep, it's the end. Of the world as you know it. And I feel fine. Actually, Ted died, right? Yeah, Ted has been outside for far too long and it still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. We didn't make it. Yeah. So the only person left was Timmy. Hey, at least you know what? We died, but Timmy's out there. Sick. But still, still out there. So, um, there you go. The luck challenge. As we could probably have imagined from the start, I was not lucky enough for this run. It's basically one of those runs where you have to definitely trigger a good set of items from the shelter and the suitcase as well. And had we had more food, we probably could have survived a bit longer and maybe made something happen, but we couldn't get any food. We basically got water over and over and over, but no food for once, which is you know really ironic. Because most of the times you get a lot of food, but not enough water. But there you guys have it. The luck challenge, we have failed. Sorry, Callum McLeod. Gave it a try, but so be it. Remember, guys, leave your challenges in the comments below, and I will continue picking some out as we go forward. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.